So the moment of inertia in a reinforced concrete member is going to be dependent on the load. So let's say that we're applying a distributed load to the simply supported beam. Uh, when we initially apply the load, we're going to have uh, an uncracked section. The entire section will be uh, below the uh, cracking stress uh, that's, uh, to some point. So what that means is it means that our entire section is going to contribute to the stiffness. So when we're calculating our I, we'll have an I uh, uncracked, and typically we'll transform it. Uh, we could also uh, use I gross at this point. So what's going to happen then after this is our uh, section will crack, and the uh, stiffness is going to decrease um, at some rate. And it'll decrease down to the point of uh, what we call I crack transformed. So we can call this I gross or I crack transformed and this point here will be our cracking moment. And we'll call this MA. So uh, after our section's cracked we will only take into account the concrete that's still in compression. So this is going to contribute to our stiffness. And then we're, we will transform our steel into some equivalent concrete area. So how much concrete would we need at that section to uh, represent and uh, reflect the amount of steel that's there? So uh, taking the moment of inertia, this uh, blue shaded region will get our eye crack transformed. Um, so what ACI allows us to do is find an eye effective that varies between our eye gross and our eye crack transformed. So uh, the expression for this is uh, MCR over MA, which MA is our applied moment times gro the, the gross moment of inertia, plus 1 minus MCR over a, uh, MA to the third times our, our crack transformed uh, moment of inertia. So using this expression we can get our I effective and this we can use to find our deflections.